Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Film Optics, brought to you by the Drive-In Podcast Network, where we discuss film, TV, and everything pop culture-related. I'm your host, Christian, and I'm joined by my co-host, Devin, and our guest, Leo Rydell from Geekly Yo. Goods. What's going on, guys? How's your week been? We what made a it. nice end, man. What a nice <laughs> end to the week. Nine, nine weeks later. <laughs> Uh, it's bittersweet to get to the end, isn't it? Like, yeah, couldn't they have given especially, us one especially more? that ending doesn't get more bittersweet than that. Wow, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm sensing some salty uh, some salty material. Uh, material no, it was desert. it was bittersweet. Like, yeah, that's it, how it ended. Yeah, yeah, end. yeah. No, I, I really did. Literally a bittersweet ending. That is true because of what happened. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm sad that it's over. Like, I wish it was ten episodes. Like, I, just, just like one more week. It's one more week. It's all even it out. Yeah, I, I, and, I mean, some it's it's a lot of it's kind of weird because you have a lot of these shows nowadays where it's like they've been getting a little ballsy. Like, oh, we're only going to do six, seven episode, you know, series for season one, and then maybe we'll do eight and nine for like season two, and then we'll get into maybe ten solid episodes. I'm like, uh, but. I kind of understand because it's like maybe if they had one more week, they would have decided against Ralph Boner. Wow! Oh man! Wow! I can't Fire believe shots he went already. Right? <laughs> I thought that part. That's, that's what ling- that's what lingered the most out of the whole episode. That's what lingered to you, really? Because it's just a slap in the face. Okay. Of everybody. All, All right. right. Okay. All right. So All right. I guess should we start there? Like, well, well, hold on one we... second. Let's okay. get into a little bit of housekeeping news here for bits, and then we'll jump straight in. So before we begin today's deep dive topic into the Wanda Vision series finale, you can listen to this podcast on platforms around the internet and make sure to follow us on Instagram. And Twitter at Film Optics. That is Optics with an X for all of our latest announcements. So, also, before we begin, we're going to just go straight into spoilers. So, that is your warning right now. I think we're literally, <laughs> one I more I time. Ralph Boner just got spoiled for somebody, so they don't have to yeah. go through that lie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! All right, you do not like Ralph. He does not like Ralph, but like it's still. See, see, I, I liked the episode. I I thought it was a really good finale, but they massacred my boy. Like, what do they do? He was your boy. Everyone loves everyone loves Fox Quicksilver. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that except, except you. Your ass. Like, that was top tier, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Looking in the chat really quick, we have Amanda from Candid Cinema. What's going on? Yo. What, up, what is up? Wow. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's enough of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. got to get the jabs in. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll let her. I'll let her. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we, let's just start from the beginning. Um, you know, I wanted to get you guys' first impressions of this episode. So I guess we'll start with our guest, Leo, of course. Uh, what did you think of the overall episode before we get so, into, like, the weeds and whatnot? So this episode I thought was absolutely incredible. Like, honestly, I, I love this episode. There were some things that we didn't get that I wasn't disappointed about, and then there were some things that we did get that I was disappointed about. Namely, the Quicksilver and Monica's lack of presence in this episode. But we'll get into that a little bit later once we talk about what we didn't like. But just overall, incredible episode. I mean, the moment between Wanda and Vision when the entire family had to say goodbye. They had this one shot where it panned over to a portrait of the family, all four of them. And I just, it hit me right in that moment. Like, it got so emotional for me right there. Because we have been with these these four for the last nine weeks and I'm already attached. I mean, the gravitas of their acting has just carried over every single week. And it just came to an absolute head in this episode when they turned to each other and it was time to say goodbye another time. I mean, as if infinity war wasn't already enough, when we had to see vision die twice right in front of Wanda. We had to see it again, guys. But what is positive about that is White Vision now has all of the memories of Vision. We so hope. it's very, 
possible, yeah, we hope at least, it's very possible that we could get Vision back in some kind of way, shape, or form, or capacity. But I love that. I love that we get this Man of Steel-esque battle between Vision and White Vision. Very cool callback to Superman media. And it's just a really great episode all around. I like the CG. I really enjoyed Elizabeth Olsen versus uh, Agatha Harkness. Love, love the Scarlet Witch reveal. Loved it. I mean, when she got the crown and every, I was like, oh my God, (laughs) let's go. But it was very reminiscent of the Phoenix Force. Like, it made me think of Dark Phoenix when all the energy was surrounding her and she was absorbing the magic from Agatha Harkness. Very Dark Phoenix vibes, but it was just an incredible episode all around. I just would have loved a little bit more from Monica. Because I felt like she was getting built up throughout the entire series to have a very similar end button, just like Wanda. But it kind of felt like she was cut a little short. Then again, the post credits, one of them was focused on her. So I enjoy that we're going to get more of her. There's a nice cliffhanger for Wanda at the end of this, which really does make us question now, okay, there's got to be a multiverse. Where are they calling her from? The kids are whispering, help me, mom, help me. Where are they coming from? Like, are we in the or multiverse? Is it Mephisto? Mephisto? <laughs> stop, yeah, stop. No more Mephisto. Mephisto. No oh. more Mephisto. We're not doing that. Never. I mean, let's no. be real here, though. I'm going to pose you guys a question, and I'm going to pose this to Amanda and anybody else who's in the chat listening. Do you think this is the last we will see of Ralph? Do you think this is that that I wasn't so? <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of have a theory, guys, and I know WandaVision's done, but I don't think I don't know if that was Ralph Boner. Like that I, I'm just good like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. We might get our Quicksilver back, y'all. I still got some hope, but Tommy and Billy, I don't think they're gone. And I definitely don't think Vision's gone since White Vision now has the memories. Just a great episode overall. A couple, couple kinks in there, but Honestly, guys, I loved it. I love this series as a whole, and it just came to an incredible head at the end. I think it's going to disappoint some people, though, because these theories and all this overthinking we did, y'all, <laughs> didn't pan out at the end, did it? But I'm glad Marvel stuck to their guns. Yeah. Yeah. I... Okay. Devin, go ahead. Just just, 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 rip, <laughs> just rip the Band-Aid off, because I know it's it's fine. I'm just, I'm just so in love with this series. Like, <laughs> I, I agree too. I, I loved the majority of this episode. There were a, a couple annoyances, like I mentioned, Ralph Boner being the number one. <laughs> it's just it feels like such a waste of any potential that they they brought out for X Men, Multiverse, Quicksilver. It's just all down the drain for a boner joke. I mean, I did, I did chuckle when it, when it happened, but, but then I sat and th- thought for a little bit and I was like, that, that was, that was something that wasn't great. But other than that, I mean, I, I did think it was pretty great. I loved white vision. He was just like a terminator at first, just coming out of that, the flames, those flames, like looking all badass. I was like, Whoa, hello. But hello, Bethany. I see you. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, really quick, uh, Amanda says in the chat, or Candid Cinema, excuse me, she's using her alias today, um, <laughs> <laughs> that Leo is too optimistic for me, <laughs> and I'll never have hope ever point. again. There, there was an issue of, of everyone's expectations not being met, but I think it's not like, I don't think it was the fans' fault, though. It was the, the writers, the directors, and the actors. They all were setting up these little hints throughout the entire season, and then most of it didn't get paid off. I feel like it's everybody's fault to a degree. Because, yes, Paul Bettany <laughs> trolling the internet, which was that, whole, that was a good troll. That I mean, was a good troll. Was, no, no, that was wrong. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 disagree, that was wrong. It was annoying, but... That was just wrong, though. No, how are you going to tell us there is somebody I've been looking forward to this entire time Who else? acting with on screen, and it's him? Of course he is. He's me. Uh, well, <laughs> you he's also the air, aerospace engineer troll. Like... Okay, I don't think that led. I didn't. I didn't think that was going to lead anywhere. Like why at they, all? So, they put so much focus on it for no reason. The director apologized for it. He knows he messed up. He literally apologized. But then again, like I was like, I can't say it's the director's fault because I would say it's. I think the blame shares between the fans and the actors because I usually would blame the fans, but this one is just like it's because all on, it's yeah, all on you guys. Well, you, you had Liz- you had Elizabeth Olsen saying there's like a you know Luke Skywalker level cameo, 
And then you have Paul Bettany doing his thing. Real quick. I just real quick want to clarify. The reporter did ask her, is there a cameo in this season like the Mandalorian season two? They didn't even say like Luke Skywalker or anything. I think the reporters and tabloids just ran with that and were like, oh, it's like Luke Skywalker. But I'm like, this is Bo Katan at best. Yeah. So I mean, she could have been referring to a cameo like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really quick in the chat, uh, Tyler Calvert. What's up, Tyler? He says, quick boner. I like that. What up? <laughs> Not like boner killer, but oh. <laughs> wow. Amanda says, Tyler, Ooh. please think of the children. <laughs> A horrible troll. I thought it was hilarious. Like, who 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 else better would you ever want to act with than yourself? It's like the whole Ben Kenobi thing. It's like, oh, do you know who this uh, who this Ben Kenobi is? Of course, I know who he is. He's me. And it's like, oh my god, it's amazing. I thought it was hilarious because like it no, worked. It worked so people. well. It works so well. Big people don't like Patrick Stewart, who's been on the Fox end of things. And okay. You got people like Ian McKellen, Michael Fassbender. Of course, we're going to think of those people when yeah. you say there's somebody we're looking forward to that we're, it's like, come on, don't do that to us. And that, but- yeah. And that's why I say, you know, it's, it is part of like definitely the, the actor's fault. But like, I do blame yeah. fans as well for running crazy wild. Like I thought that it's gonna be Michael Fassbender. Well, what do you expect them to do though? Like they, they were given not the information. that crazy though. It's like I mean, have some kind of realistic like grasp. But I mean, this well, is coming from realistic the... for someone who's like an amazing god tier actor. Like I, I mean, don't know what. I mean, like it would have been cool, but it's like I I didn't think there's no way that they would have introduced. So like now thinking back on it, I'm like, there's no way they would would have tried to introduce. Fantastic Four and the X Men all in WandaVision. That's and Maybe and and Spectrum. Nice. <laughs> we got Spectrum. What are you talking about? We got I we mean, got Monica Rambeau. We got some things. We got something. Yeah, we got something. We got we we got we got I, Scarlet I Witch in her true I form. Think she's gonna be called Photon, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She she goes by like so many names. I, 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 I don't know. Her, her mom her, was yeah. I think she just goes by her mom's name. <laughs> 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 Tyler says in the chat should have just brought Luke Skywalker in the Juan division. <laughs> so I thought, okay, this was definitely not going to happen, but I thought it would have been brilliant if they did a post credit with Deadpool with oh, the like roll yeah, yeah. Had, like, a yeah. Talk and they, Yo, you said Luke Skywalker? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to know where is Doctor Strange? This all this magic's happening down the street from him, like a state over, and he's like, "No, I'm good." He doesn't like New Jersey. I I don't blame him. He doesn't like Jersey. (laughs) I wouldn't want to go to Jersey either, but yeah, not after that. He's just he's just hanging around, not not coming to help. Yeah, kind of a a big hole there. Did anybody think he was going to show up when she was making tea? Like I was like, is he just? Oh, you know what? For a hot second, I did, and then I I was him to float down into the into the house. Yeah. And be like, kind of like some stuff. <laughs> you kind of you, you got the tea girl. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, a really quick shout out to you around these uh, these is room dooms. Sorry. Hey, what's going on? I think that's uh, somebody from my channel. So okay. Hello. What's up? Welcome. What's up? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so Tyler says in the chat, I want to know where uh, why Vision pieced out to, which is that's actually a that is a good question. Is he just? Peace out. Yeah, he just soared up in the he sky. Was he was like, like he had a he's existential like, crisis, and he was like, I'm out. He was like, I'm vision. And then he just <laughs> goes out. <laughs> we also got to talk about how good of a, a fight that was. Like, they, they they were having that cool laser battle, but then it ends up in a library. They have a philosophical battle. Like, yeah. that was so cool. That a was battle so of the tight. mind. <laughs> yeah, and it's like they were even, like, phasing through each other. I mean, it was just so cool. But I even said in my reaction, I was like, Vision just dipped. Like white vision literally just he said, Peace. Like what are, what what the heck was that about? He was like, I know who I am now. I know what I must do. I'm like, what oh. what? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay, like you know, that that is one loose end. Um I guess I guess another loose end would be <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. Okay, okay. Hear me out because I'm just saying everyone's like, oh my god, like it's it's not, it's just fake Pietro. I'm like, well, yeah, they they did say that. I don't know, like two three weeks ago, where you know it it wasn't really him, but like I mean, he seemed to have a really great great time on the show. From I think someone had tweeted out like one of his quotes, you know, 
mm-hmm. working with the MCU. And it's like, I, I thought, I did think it was a nice twist because it's like, oh, you know, let's kind of bring this guy in who kind of, like, someone who the fans would recognize. It's like, oh, it's Quicksilver, but... You know, we, we've seen in the background that... But, but then it ends with Ralph Bone. Right. You thought that was a good twist? I thought that was so funny, though. But, <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, there might... I mean, there could be room for that. But, like, at the same time, I didn't really care too much because the rest of the episode, to me, was just amazing, like, heartbreaking. So, like, I mean, yeah, it's a small little, like like nitpick for me, but it's like, I tend to like overlook those just because I did think it was I funny. mean, they, they did focus whole episode on them. Yeah. Well, so it's not that small. Wait, it's on, on the Ralph reveal at the end of five, the, the Halloween episode. Oh, like, oh, 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 okay. 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 I was confused for a second. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I uh, really it's just like, it just becomes annoying when they're, they're trolling us like multiple times in the series. <laughs> Like, I understand maybe once to kind of like trick you a little bit, but if you're going to troll the audience, like, I mean, multiple times, it's like, I mean, you know, when people are getting too network? close to like, you know, spoiling. Sh- I don't know. I, I think it's fun to keep fans guessing and trolling. And whatnot. Ma- maybe once, but like, they got <laughs> us like three times this series. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I thought it was hilarious, though. Like, it's they're trying something new, you know, just throwing fans off. Th- throwing people off the scent, but really quick in the chat, we have around these is dooms. I'm sorry. I I'm butchering that name and I do apologize. I think you're getting it right around these is dooms. Okay. So they said they're having MCU marathon. <laughs> wow. They're having an MCU <laughs> marathon from the first Avengers too far from home. Okay. Ooh, going just going like chronological. Yeah. Just skip those first two Thor movies and you're good. Wow. <laughs> you hear that, man? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not here for I, look, look, I, I, I'm, we're going into the weeds here, but the first, the first two Thor films, not that great. And I'm not going to say they're horrible movies because no, I don't think any movies in the MCU are just absolutely horrible, but I will say compared to Ragnarok two is Big bad. The first one, not so bad, but just not Ragnarok. We yeah. throw Ragnarok supremacy up a year. That's a good point about the post credit scene at the end. It could have been directed mm. by Sam Raimi because they used the Doctor Strange score. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 they did. See, and I thought, I, I was like, like okay, Strange like is that. coming. We're going to see a cloak come down. Even even if they gave us like a cloak just floating down, even if it was just the cloak, He's just like, I don't even care. Not? It's just like the cloak <laughs> coming to inspect. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that would be awesome. That would have been. I, sweet. Kept, I kept waiting for him the whole episode. I was, I was gotta waiting for him. As well. He's got to show same, up. Yeah, same. yeah, I but was. I will say Marvel stuck to their guns by just making this hard focused. It's, it's a Wanda and Vision. Yeah, it's a Wanda yeah. Vision show. So yeah. it makes sense. Scarlet Witch origin story. Nobody yeah. else. <laughs> Thor Ragnar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Mando. Say something Bye. else. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he was like, peace. <laughs> Thor like, the best. Be out like white vision. <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> this, that dude literally just like <laughs> snapped his that, fingers. <laughs> that, was, that was one awkward part of the episode. And I was like, okay, I guess the emotion overwhelmed him so much that he just like had to leave. But I was just like, he just. Dipped did, out like what the hell? He really did. The did. sword guys like track him down because they were tracking him. Did they catch him? Did is he free now? <laughs> I think he's just roaming around, folks. I guess. Uh, Tyler for the call. Tyler says in the chat, "Bring back Hugh Jackman in the next MCU movie, <laughs> and just yeah. have some random dude named Robert." <laughs> Robert, it's the first Robert F word in the MCU that he just d- says, "Go f yourself," just like he did in first class. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got some uh, some some Thor lovers in here between around these is dooms and uh, Manda, of course. But hey, I mean, this is a uh, Thor Ragnarok uh, house. We 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 stand it. We we love it. We uh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Taika does not miss. <laughs> He really you know does. What? I agree. He really doesn't. He does. Even his Mandalorian episode was <laughs> fantastic. It really was. It's just like that. That man is fan. Like I was talking to one of my friends. She's like, "Oh yeah, that one director from New Zealand who uh, did that one rabbit movie." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> Jojo Rabbit is hilarious. I love man. it so that was my so much. Of that year. It really was. 
Uh, but so we we get a few uh, more peaks in this um, this episode with, of course, Monica Rambeau, you know, manifesting into her powers there for a little bit, which I thought was actually pretty sweet. But yeah, that was awesome. It's just like I I think besides I think the thing that hit me the most besides you know, um, besides Wanda's kind of like breakdown because you know when she finally gets to talk to the townspeople and they're like, you know, where are my children? And she's that like, was, that, that one cut hard. Man. Yeah, it did. She's like, no, no, no. You're, yeah. She's like, no, no, no. You guys are safe. You're safe. You're fine. You're fine. She's like, I mean, the rest of the people are like, no, you know, it's more of just, you know, we're experiencing your trauma and we, yeah. you know, that, that, that was, that was hard. And then she kind of, she freaks out. It's, it's kind of like, you know, her powers are growing. She doesn't really know what to do with them. She gets all this new information with her being the Scarlet Witch, which it's like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot to take in. And then her children are, you know, can't really exist outside of the hex. Cause I wasn't sure if they were able to or not, but this, yeah, we didn't know until this episode. Yeah. I always had like a feeling and I was like, I couldn't expect them her to do anything more special with, you know, bringing them into the world because Agatha said, you know, they're so grounded within the hex that you created them and they can't survive outside of that. And it's like, mm-hmm. damn, as soon as like, you know, they put, uh, she puts them to bed. I was like, Oh my God. Oh God. Damn, if I recall sucks. correctly in the comics, they, I know that the very first incarnations of the two of them have to sacrifice themselves. I think they do it to defeat Mephisto mm. and they sacrifice themselves and they're reborn into two other beings but they're still technically twin brothers yeah but they're born in separate places so i think that's might be kind of where they're leading to their mcu version of that so maybe they will pop up in another universe and she'll have to go save them or whatever but wasn't that sad when they were like disintegrating no i was like oh my god please don't make us watch these kids like go that way yeah i think one of the, uh, the director was saying that like it does end on like a somber like a very sad note and i was like and it did. It did. Yeah, I was because I was like, okay, Vision is somehow gonna you know disappear or whatever. But like the kids too. I'm His like, goodbye though was just like, oh, yeah. oh my god. <sighs> goodbye, like, darling. Right until like, until they meet those... again. It's like you know, I'm saying goodbye until you know the next time we can say hello. And it's like the writing for this entire series. Was just fantastic. Should he have mentioned White Vision though? Like, hey, I got this white guy you can hang out with. Like, <laughs> we're kind of the same. I know he's maybe. not a vision of color, but. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my question with that was did he implant those memories with him and Wanda and the Hex in that vision? Seemingly. Or did he just. What I. Because it seemed to end with him mm. dying from Thanos. I don't know if he. Like gave him those memories. Like technically, those aren't really actual Vision's memories, are they? Yeah. I so I I think they are because going back to like Avengers: Infinity War, you know, when they're trying to remove the Mind Stone from Vision, and I think Bruce was saying that you know, um, Vision's personality's entire like makeup is made up of like, you know between Jarvis and, you know, Ultron and, you know, the stone kind of all working together. And he's like, Oh, if we were move the stone, maybe there's still a little bit of vision in there. I think that's what happened because with white vision from what I've read, he's kind of like, you know, the more like the body. Yeah. Yeah. The body and by more, um, I guess mind controlled or serious version of vision without those memories but it's like mm-hmm. m- maybe maybe that's what he did he's like you know like oh you're a synthesoid you know those memories or like that data doesn't just go away like you are a complex human or a complex being so mm-hmm. it's like maybe that's what happened like they they, yeah. they had to have been there i, I see what you're saying because like it what what she had told him towards the end was that you are the piece of the mind stone that lives within me mm. so i'm I guess we can just assume when he implanted those memories in the synthesoid white vision, mm. he gave her those memories. He gave him those memories with her. Yeah, maybe. And uh, around these is doomed. Man, that, that is really hard to say for me. But I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
they they, uh, they said they would love to see a uh, white uh, white vision uh, mini series of white vision after. Yeah, do uh, we think he's going to show up anywhere? Maybe Doctor Strange. Just kinda... <laughs> I, I would think Doctor Strange too, if anywhere. Yeah, like I saw a random white vision the other day out in the wild. <laughs> No, like a little, like a little Pokemon <laughs> sighting. The legendary white vision. I don't know. Blue uh, eyes, blue eyes, white vision. <laughs> yeah, hey, literally. <laughs> Tyler, play my trap card. Exactly. <laughs> you activated my Speaking trap card. Wanda, Wanda did play that trap card nicely with those runes. She did. I was she like, did. why is she missing so much? And I was like, there it is. That All was right. Tight, man. How did that Agatha was... not realize that for a second? I was we like, we didn't okay, realize well. it. We yeah, that is true. Like, even the second time around when I was watching the finale, I was like, yeah, like, that actually does make sense. Because she was kind of like, you know, hit, hitting her a few times, and it's kind of like, all right, you know, then I'll kind of purposely miss. And it's like, it's it, it can easily be mis, can, like, construed as, you know, she's just so angry. She's trying to defeat her enemy that she's just missing. But it's like, nah, that, that was pretty clever. I like that. That was really good. That was really mm-hmm. good stuff. Um, Tyler says in the chat, <laughs> just from Amanda, I hope Henry Cavill gets another Superman movie, but it's directed by Taika. <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Superman is way too lame for Taika. <laughs> Hot take. Oh, Hot take. Wow. Oh, Superman is too lame for, uh-oh. That'd be some, he, he would do really good at like all-star Superman stuff, I think, or he would do really good in like the Asian Superman. That would be cool. He could, he could take that. And or the, funny. um, Oh my gosh. Uh the the Red Superman Red Sun. That was a really good animated film by the way. Really like that one. Uh, yeah, I liked Red Sun. I yeah. liked Red Sun. Yeah, I'm not even a, like a big Superman fan like at all and I actually liked it a lot. And I think it gets a little too much hate nowadays, but I'm yeah. not like, I, I like Maybe. Batman more. Yeah. yeah. I like Spider-Man more, obviously. Oh, for but. sure, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's I don't know, man. I, I tweeted out today. I was like, "Hey, like these go go over Superman. This these these all are the day. All these day. are the facts. It's just no arguments from me. Oh <laughs> man, oh man. I mean, I I like Superman. It's just more of I don't know. He's just kind of one dimensional in a way, but kind of yeah, like he's perfect. He's kind yeah, of a perfect character. A it's kind of like Luke Skywalker as well. That's why the Superman and Lois show and those stories kind of work because they do prove that. It's hard for Superman to have a life outside of being Superman. Mm. And so that kind of introduces imperfections into his character Mm -hmm. that he kind of lacks balance, actually, when it comes to just everything. I I saw that comment about Henry Cavill, Superman, uh, uh, MCU Scott Summers. I think he's maybe just a tad too big. Well, no. He's a buff dude. He's a buff dude. We're going X-Men animated, though, like Cyclops is Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I'd be down for that. I, I, yeah, because I mean, we 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 got news this week earlier. I know we're kind of like getting up beaten path, but we'll come back to Wandavision in a second. Um, with uh, I guess they're the mutants. the mutants, and everyone was like, Ooh, "Why are they not called the X Men?" I, I like, heard that um, Stanley originally wanted them to go by just the mutants, so maybe it's just homage to him. I think it's more. Of, it, it could be that, but I think it is more of you know, the mutants have to come from somewhere. Like they can't just. Oh, we're the X Men. We're a team. It's like okay, number one, how how was this team formed? Like it has to start somewhere. That's that was my like thought process of it. Maybe, but do I don't you guys know. think that potentially that the Hex created the mutants? Potentially either the you Hex know or the snap. What? Yeah, I was thinking that because it's kind of like since we've learned that um, Wanda is has always technically been the Scarlet Witch, and it's like the Mind Stone in a way, like activated like those powers that dormant yeah yeah Yeah. it's it's kind of you know like her power's always been there but it's been dormant for so long it's like maybe she's now the key to you know unlocking people's abilities that they've had all this time but But that was only maybe westview new jersey well no i'm I'm, I'm not oh i see what you're saying yeah yeah yeah. so for (laughs) me it's like the snap just makes too much sense it's like it's already all set up for him like they don't even have to do anything. The she did open done. up something though, didn't Hag? Um, not Hagatha. Wow, Agatha. <laughs> she a hag. She is a hag. <laughs> didn't she say that? I mean, yeah, she's destined to like quote unquote destroy the world. I mean, maybe like down the line, I kind of see her possibly becoming like the next big baddie. But she opened up something because Agatha was saying, you know, 
do you, you know, know what you've done? Yeah, Something yeah. along those lines. And I was like, what did Wanda do? Like, it's what like, happened? Maybe. <laughs> stop. Stop. Um, so Tyler was talking about in the chat really quick, Hayward's plan was foiled by vision, t- giving white vision PTSD and two kids that aren't even real. Yeah. I wanted to actually talk about Hayward because like, yeah. up until this episode, he was kind of <laughs> in the right a little bit. Like I agree. I think it was up until the last episode because when he doctored up that footage of Wanda yeah. breaking in, I was like, okay, he clearly has something against Wanda. But yeah. I agree with you because he had a certain perspective because you could understand where he was coming from. This is the lady that caused an explosion that killed and she was absolutely doing a bad thing. She was held, holding people captive under their under her yeah. spell. And this comes they after were the fun. stuff that happened in Civil War. Like a lot of stuff happened with Wanda Maximoff that would tip a lot of people's radar off. Yeah, but yeah. Then they just kind of forced him to shoot the kids just to make him like make sure you think he's a bad guy. Like you got to make sure you hate this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's about to empty his clip on Monica and these kids. Ser- what is <laughs> Seriously, though, he was. That just, was. Savage. I was like, wow. I'm like, all right. I, I like how he has this basic ass pistol. They're like the most. It's like a little like, government agency in the world. <laughs> it's, right? it's like a little pink Beretta or something. <laughs> it's yeah. like I'll take them out. It's like what? The, what? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so. I was like, I'm like, what does he think he's going to be doing with that? But it's like, okay, even if they were to get shot, would that have really affected them as just, you know, like, like so? Because no. it's like, yeah, whatever. But obviously, I don't even know if Monica knew if they were real or not. She just saw kids about to get mowed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, she just jumped in the way, and I, was, I, I honestly, that was sweet. I know she was spectrum, but I was just like, oh my god, like, yeah, I freaked out when I saw. I was like, oh, is she gonna get hurt? But man, the powers activating that was that was a moment we've been waiting for all season. We got she's, the blue she's eyes. one of the most powerful people that they could bring in. Yeah, yeah, her I mean, eyes are changing. Captain tones. Marvel level, like, yeah. literally. This is this is a, a huge. If I guess if you want a, a power scale, this is an Omega level mil- mutant. <laughs> Oh, among all the rest speaking of power um agatha mentioned that scarlet witch is more powerful than sorcerer supreme oh yeah that was dr ridiculous. strange yeah yeah i mean uh, maybe i, I mean know, maybe maybe i mean I, I so like everyone keeps talking about because i guess uh brie larson keeps going around saying that uh captain marvel's a strong captain marvel is the strongest avenger i'm like well I feel like there's a difference between the strongest and the most powerful. Like, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure, you know, Captain Marvel has, you know, the strength. But in terms of, like, power, like, raw power, I definitely think that it's it's Wanda for sure. Just the things that we've seen alone. It, it, there's just no way that, like, I don't know. But, I mean, it's more stronger than Sorcer- Sorcerer Supreme. I'm like, that does say a lot. But... How does that stack up? Like, let's say if the X-Men were in this universe already, like if Jean Grey, you know, the Phoenix Force, like how, how, do, how, how do you balance that power? Because like Leo said earlier, you know, he got a lot of Phoenix, Phoenix Force, uh, Jean Grey vibes. And I did too, but it's like, it's no just, more Dark Phoenix, please. No, Don't we're no, we're getting again. another Dark Phoenix. And we're going to no, do it no, right no, this no, time. Please, no. <laughs> I, I really, you know, they're going to do it. Again. No, man, I just hope they look with the mutants. Which guys, that is totally a Chris Claremont run scrub of the new mutants. Like somebody doctored up that logo. <laughs> but I, if we get the mutants, let's maybe even just have some origin stories or oh, let's sure. build up to X Men and just not even have the Dark Phoenix. I just yeah. just skip it. I agree. Don't do it again. Please don't. i okay. I want there's, them there's to so do many, it. There's so many mutants they can work with. They don't need to do Jean Grey again. Well, yeah. I mean, I want them to do it eventually, but not like okay, no, the X Men are in. Let's do another Dark Phoenix. Like, no, like, I do want them to focus on other mutants because I mean, it's, it's a fucking X Men. Like, it's literally like my favorite superhero team. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just, I want them to do it. Just not right off the bat, you know, take your time, explore other characters, but just, you know, sometime in our lifetime, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I think that Dr. Strange would actually 
a win in the showdown against Ronda. I know she said, yeah. yeah, no more Dark Phoenix for like 10 years. And I know she, for sure, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. I know she said that, oh, you're more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme, but she doesn't have more control than Dr. Yeah, Strange. She's still she doesn't learning have it. more knowledge than Dr. Strange or more experience than Dr. Strange. But her astral projection is better than Dr. Strange. He has to be asleep while he's doing it. She That's can, true. She can walk around. <laughs> that is very I think within a couple of years like yeah but typically that's how their characters always are like when when Wanda says no more mutants in House of M it's not like from a place of being in control anyway she's already mentally broken from losing the twins so it's like okay that happens there's never really a moment where Wanda Maximoff is at absolute totality control I mean there's a few moments but generally speaking when her biggest hugest powers unlock themselves it's from a place of like trauma and things like this so mm. i would think dr strange would get like a small upper hand but hey who knows where the mcu is gonna go guys she could be the villain of the next movie they're yeah, gonna say do you think they're gonna face it off i think it's a possibility yeah. Ray Gignis actually had a theory on his channel earlier talking about the post credit saying that it's very possible that there could be a bit of a duality in the personality of Scarlet Witch and Wanda Maximoff, and that Scarlet Witch will be this more dark, deceiving personality because she absorbed the magic from Agatha. Oh, that's that true. Yeah. yeah, and the dark hold. Yep. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Even, I did not think about that because you know, I, you know, we viewed it as her just taking her powers back, but it's like we don't know what else she could have absorbed because now you know mm. she's. You she's, never know what you're gonna what you're gonna absorb in Jersey. Like you, don't know what you're gonna <laughs> you never know what you're gonna catch when you go to Jersey. It's exactly. <laughs> Stay protected, my friends. Stay <laughs> protected always. Yeah, I, I don't know because I mean during the the end credit scene, the po- the post credit scene, you know she's she's in the mountains wherever I don't know in this in this little house. It seems seems peaceful enough. Sokovia, maybe maybe. And you know, it's there's like two Wandas. You know, she's she's harnessing her powers. She's you know cooking up a storm, drinking some tea, and reading from what was it the book Book of the Dam? The Dark Hold. The, the Dark, Dark Hold. Yep. The Dark Hold. Yeah. So I was, I was like, oh, she she's stunning up. She's reading up. I mean, and then we hear her kids. You know, They're saying out there mom, somewhere. mom, and it's like, uh oh, something's about to happen. I got so excited. I was like, I know this is the end, but like. That was just an amazing. I, I don't think we out. mentioned the the first after credit scene yet, but uh, Nick Fury is calling down to Earth. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Finally, finally. Uh, do we do we know how long he's been in space? No. The, the real Nick Fury? Mm. Well, no. Idea. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. Crazy. The real Nick Fury. That's right. Shit, I don't know. That's a good that's you know what? My theory is, I think he's been up there since um since Winter Soldier. It might be that long. Like when he when that crash happened and they were like yeah. fake all the death and stuff. I think they took him up at that point. Like, okay, let's start plotting and planning and we're going to plant a scroll to make them think that this is Nick Fury, but the whole time you're going to be up here orchestrating this all with us. I think he's been up there way longer than it seems. Yeah, that is true. And shout out to uh, Tyler really quick, wondering if Wanda absorbed uh, Agatha's amazing song ability. Too much power. Too much power. We can't do that. <laughs> It's like I don't know this this entire series was just so well written and it's like even when um right before you know the kids are about to go to sleep and you know she says like thank you for uh letting uh choosing to be you know for letting me be your mom and it's like did they know exactly what was going to happen or it was kind of just like a you know oh you know like we'll see you in the morning type thing kind of like um I guess, like, kind of like in the office when um, Jim knew that uh, Michael was leaving, it was like, hey, you know, like, I'll see you tomorrow kind of thing. And it's just kind of like, a, you know, whatever, whatever. But I wonder if Speed and Wiccan knew exactly what was going on, like, when the hex was closing, if that makes sense. Uh, I think they would have been crying a little bit. Yeah, I interpreted it that they were just like, oh, we're going to get up in the morning. It'll be the next day. Like, yeah. I didn't really take we have, that. We have two dads <laughs> now. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of them questioned that. Like, no, nobody, nobody actually ever questioned that. Yeah. 
And I mean, even Wanda saw him and wasn't like, wait, why are you like, yeah, where, where'd he go? Powder where'd white. He go? <laughs> just assumed he kicked his ass and left. You're looking a little blue, sweetie. <laughs> wasn't that pretty creepy when he just like walks up to her, and just chokes her out? Like, dude, oh, that like, was insane. Like, it that puts, was dark, bro. He was like, vision. He's like, Wanda. <laughs> And then he thinks he's like, I'm gonna crush your very much. Totally like some, I caught you, Sarah Connor. (laughs) Gotcha, bitch. (laughs) Jeez. I thought that was dark as hell. Like, there were a couple moments in this episode that were like skirting the line a little bit. Oh, yeah. That was one of them. I mean, I'm trying to think what else was there. I mean, between um what what else kind of like you know, teetled the line of, I guess, PG-13 as to, like, almost R besides, I don't know. Well, what, was there any other, like, instances within the episode, or are you just talking about the series as a whole? The series as a whole. Oh, okay, the okay. Parts. And then of, I feel like some of the witch stuff, like when they when she went into her mind and all those witches were walking up, I Dude, was like, that was, oh, I could kind of skirt the line a little. A nice little but, callback, by the way, from Age of Ultron, where she just like sneaks the crap up yeah. and, after Agatha. Yeah. And I was like, oh, was there nice. we go. Yo, Tony I like, I like how she yeah, like, like, a, like a subconscious witch battle because like first Wanda has the upper hand. She she gets her in in the in her old family and and then Agatha takes back over and it's like they're kind of going back and forth in this made-up world. It was crazy. Yeah. Which, which section? Oh, the <laughs> other, like, kind of skirting the line part was when the kids were, like, disintegrating, man. That yeah. was crazy was stuff. Like, whoa, that was... Yeah, th- there's there's no the way edge. they knew what, what was going on because it's like they were just, like, on the ground just, like, reaching for their mom, and it's like... It's cr- mom, help! I'm yeah. like, dude, that's kind of dark. <laughs> yeah. It's, but, like, I like how experimental this entire series or the season has been it's like this isn't like your average like by the numbers marvel film like no like it does it does pretty much play out like a movie if you're watching it you know back to back to back which you can do now but it's just for for everyone that complains about the marvel formula just just watch this seriously though and like i mean who who says that like loki isn't the same what I like about this show, and I think the the Marvel shows where they're going, is that these side characters have a lot more layers to them than the movies ever allowed. The movies very much focused on Tony and um, Captain America. Wow, I was like, Cap, Cap! <laughs> but Tony and Cap, Steve and Tony were very much the centerpieces of the Avengers and Thor and a little bit of Bruce Banner. We know what happened there with Ed Norton and rights and all that they didn't couldn't make more Hulk movies but (laughs) it was very much focused on those three characters we finally are getting to see and explore other characters and just how deep they actually go beyond that couple of shots in Age of Ultron and oh I'm just Steve's best friend Bucky oh I'm just his right hand man Falcon like we're getting to see that these characters are actual beings that have so many layers to their story that needs to be unraveled and that's what i do like about this ending so much is that they stuck to their guns and they said this is a scarlet witch origin story it is a story about wanda and vision beyond the age of ultron stuff beyond the stuff that we've seen on surface level and they want to focus specifically on these characters i love it i think this is going to work out with loki this is going to work out with falcon and winter soldier i think we're going to explore some really deep things about sam in that series a lot like just hit those shots of him holding the shield and how this is a bit of a struggle for him. I'm very, very excited to see some more of those two characters. I feel like we're not going to get Hydra Cap now. <laughs> Wanda oh and Vision, they were, Wanda and Vision were kind of like afterthoughts up until now. Like, yeah. they were, like even Thanos is like, I don't even know who you are. Like, get out of here. <laughs> I don't even know but, who oh, you are. Wow. You but then it's like, <laughs> They're kind of like best. They're kind of like Marvel's first family, if you think about it. Usually, that's the Fantastic Four's title, but this could be the Marvel's first family. Like that's that's what they feel like right now. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. got four of them: the two, the WandaVision, the two kids. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely gave me the um, what was like the kind of like Incredibles vibe, you know, when they're yeah, finally they're all they're together. All, they're all lined up. Pretty, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was it was great stuff, man. I absolutely loved it. Like. It was fan freaking fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess, uh, you know, we've been talking about 
the yeah, series finale for a while. But uh, what did you? Um, how, I guess like, what, what did you guys think of this um, entire um, season as a whole? You know, I know we've been talking about you know the series finale for a bit, but you know, I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts of you know how how well do you think things kind of weave together, and do you uh, would you go back and rewatch um, season one in its entirety? You know, maybe not like right now because we have, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier coming up. But, you know, later on down the line, maybe later on this year or like, does it give you the urge to even watch Age of Ultron again? Nah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yikes. Wow. Um, wow. Maybe not Age of Ultron, uh, but I love this series. I, yeah. I'm going back and watching this again for sure. Yeah. I think as a whole, it explores the grief, the sadness, the endurance that Wanda Maximoff had to go through. And it really just manifests that character and the character of Vision and makes them, like Devin was saying, more than an afterthought. I love this show. Love it, man. It's written well. It's acted well. And then Paul Bettany, Elizabeth Olsen, and slash or Catherine Hahn don't get an N- Emmy nomination. They really need it. They really I'm need be it. Pissed. Yeah, I'll be pissed too. Like, it, it's... Like it's 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 about time that you know when it comes to like comic book movies or just TV shows, anything that's like pretty much pop culture related. Like they, they it's I mean I guess some people may think you know they don't need the um the acceptance or like the acknowledgement of like the Emmys or the Oscars, but I feel like they do because I mean they're movies just as anything else, and sometimes I mean I mean superhero movies like that's my favorite genre so it's like i don't know i i definitely think that if if, if wandavision is not nominated for emmy uh not em, enemy wow emmy next year then it's like i mean or this year excuse me like what, what what's the fucking point like it's it's literally just them saying or i, I don't really know but how, how how could you not acknowledge something like this like it's it's fantastic and this is just the start of season four or Wow, phase four. So it's like, you know, we have so much coming down the pipeline. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy stuff. It was just so satisfying to see, like, just have it confirmed how high quality these Disney Plus TV shows are going to be. Super high quality. Like, it's, it's movie level, like yeah? exactly what we were dreaming. It's just so perfect. I'm really it's, glad. We're Sorry, going to be having content back to back just the entire rest of the year. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, it's, it, it's like, I'm, I'm really glad that, a lot of studios are now figuring out, oh, you know, especially for something this big or for bigger franchises, like I, it, it is worth to put the extra, you know, money into to making it a a, a stay at home experience. It's like even with like Game of Thrones, I, I believe that really changed the way that we watch TV, especially after uh, season two. Um, you know, with with the, um, the the Battle of Blackwater, like a lot of people started jumping on that show. As soon as, like, you know, the end of season two, they're like, oh, my God, you know, you have to watch this amazing battle. There's, you know, all this green fire and every, everywhere that's, like, on um, on the water and blah, 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 all these ships. And it's like, you know, we're getting more of that movie-level content within Disney. Um, I really can't say the same for, well, Warner Brothers when it comes to, like, the HBO side, but... <laughs> oh boy. Um, the DCEU. The DCEU. Well, the animated stuff is good though. Yes, the yes, it is. Is on point. Yes. And I will Do- say Doom Patrol. Yeah, Doom, yeah, Patrol, Doom Patrol, Harley Quinn. They do oh, good at their Harley like Quinn. HBO Max original stuff. They really do. They need to clean up that DCEU, mm, man. Mm. We all know about that. They need to clean it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh Devin, I was telling Leo what uh Seth said about the D- uh DCEU. And he said DC equals disconnected. I was like, yeah. damn. <laughs> Shots fired. I mean, I, I love I love DC. Don't don't get me wrong. Like, you know, everyone out there listening, like, we we you know, we're 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 comic book fans. We're, we're like obviously people have their preferences when it comes to Marvel DC, and that's totally fine. But it's like, you know, we, we still love everything all the same. You know, it's it's nothing we, we want DC to be better so that we can have better films. On both sides, so it's not just there's one. There's already side. people comparing the, the New Justice League to Avengers. Let's not. Oh my god! 
I mean, Zach's not. We, a, uh, let's be real here. If we were to put the characters up against each other, Justice League would take. They won. Their they up. won. Yeah. Yeah. Like, easily. Like Haw- Hawkeye would just be, just be <laughs> on his knees begging for mercy. Aquaman would be like, wave, throw this guy yeah. out, uh, out the way. Man, Hawkeye would be the first man down. Black Widow. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> not, not help. Maybe Black Widow could. If she bit, if she's facing off Batman against way. like maybe Batman or like Nightwing, nah, Batman would be up against Cat. Yeah, be yeah, Cat. yeah, yeah. That that oh man, oh man. And it's... they need Captain Marvel for Superman. That's for sure. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Seriously though, yeah. It's it, with with the Justice League. It's they are. It, it is more godlike superheroes i mean besides batman but you know he has a brain like a god so it's whatever right like, uh, <laughs> it's all the same thing we, we could have a fl- the flash go up against ralph boner and see who wins that one god. <laughs> oh man that that was uh, so your name is ralph boner <laughs> he was like uh, boner <laughs> I, I totally agree with around these as dooms as well robert downey jr did deserve i think, I think at least a nomination yeah he should have got more oscar love yeah oh absolutely yeah. You know, instead and of I am <laughs> Iron Man, like, dude, that just it kill it oh kills me. Oh my god, dude, I think that killed us. Yeah, especially when um, Pepper was like, "We'll be okay, we'll be okay," and it's just like, you can rest now. Yeah, that that is the part that really got me for like, real. That and is it what was, it, really... it was like. He could rest in this way, and then Steve could rest by going back and having his life with Peggy. Yeah. Something he never got to have. Tony has already had had a life before the Avengers and stuff. Steve was just always on the front lines, and what a way to retire both of them. I, 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 Seriously. I know that there's a big demand to bring them both back, but I kind of am in the minority. Don't bring them no. back. I mean, we'll see Tony in Black Widow, but like that's only because it happens in between Civil War and Infinity War. So, that's fair yeah. yeah but like so that makes sense but like, i i honestly think it's just like from what i've read i believe it's only one scene that he's in and they actually cut it from civil war so Tight. i don't i don't know what Bring it is it i mean don't confirm confirm but <laughs> it, it was it was from a, a reliable place i just can't it's been so long since i've uh you know, read that, so it's like... I don't know if I'm trusting sources anymore, because we're getting sh- stuff right from the actors, and this ended up being <laughs> being false. So. I told you guys! This this is the gaming industry all over again. These, like, Jim Ryan from PlayStation, and, and even Phil Spencer from Xbox, like, these guys talk out of their ass all the time. They will say one thing, like, for, like, a few months, and then, like, a year later, they will just totally jump ship and do something else. It's like, well... I don't know. PlayStation did kind of, you know, market, um, uh, what was it like Spider-Man miles Morales and horizon zero Dawn um, two as PlayStation five exclusives because they said, Oh, we believe in generations. And then they're like, Oh, psych. They're actually coming to PlayStation four as well. So all the people who were, you know, excited to either sell their PlayStation four and get a PlayStation five, even though it has backwards compatibility. I mean, S- Sony like misled their market. With that, I mean, Xbox, honestly, I think they're doing the same thing with, you know, the, the acquisition between um, them and Bethesda. They're saying, oh, you know, we, we, we're we a place for, you know, multi-platform. We want everyone to share our games. It's like, you do not spend over, what was it, $7 million or $70 million on a studio and not have that shit be exclusive to your platform. So it's like Kevin Feige and all them, like going back to my original point, everyone's full of shit. <laughs> like everyone is. You cannot take everything seriously because they, they're just going to throw you off. Like even WandaVision, everyone's like, oh, well, it was supposed to be, uh, what was it, like six hours or whatever. It's like they said that like two fucking years ago. For the last three episodes, an hour bullshit. I hated that post so much. Everyone's like, well, Kevin Feige said it. I'm like, where where (laughs) because you're just assuming that the last three episodes like well if you look at the math it's like well clearly your math was way off because this is around i think was five hours maybe five and a half i can't really remember something like that it wasn't even like i was like nah man that they're not gonna make it to six hours and that's fine yeah we loved it anyway oh yeah absolutely like this was a story about wanda and her grief 
And I, I mean, wanted to ask uh, what you guys' favorite episode of the season was. Ooh. Mm. Christian, you want to go first? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to go with. Between every, I mean, besides the first few episodes, I adored because it was just so fun. Yeah, and it was, right? yeah, I, I, I would think, I think episode eight from, from last, um, from last week was my favorite just because we got, it, it was like the expedition episode, but like we, it was so much more insight into Wanda's grief and her backstory just you know, as a character and, you know, the, the the trauma that she has gone through. And we just got a little bit more explanation of why or how she became who she is. So I would definitely have to say episode eight would probably be my favorite so far. And then this one probably be number two, but it's just, you know, it's, it's starting to bring things all together. And of course the, you know, Malcolm in the middle episode, that was, that's definitely out there with me as well. But what about you, Leah? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go episode eight as well, just because it kind of brought the whole series full circle and explained how everything was happening the way it was. I really like that first episode as well. Like something about just being outside of the seriousness of the MCU and just having a good time and enjoying these cheesy 50 style comedy yeah. jokes and, and laughs with the cast was a treat like a real treat to just back off the serious avenger stuff for a bit and just go straight for some old school comedy um <laughs> I, I just gotta say this guys i was reaching so far about daddy yeah so far did you see the uh the film theory theory that came out yesterday no i actually daddy? didn't i no, didn't get a chance to watch i, I made it. a theory video about daddy and i thought she was either clea she was mephisto himself or that she was um, possibly, and this was before the Agatha all along. I thought it was, I thought she could, she could be Agatha Harkness, but the, what a bust. She's just a woman named Sarah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which, hold on, folks. There is a mutant named Sarah who is Marrow. So maybe she's a mutant. I don't know. We, Make it all I know mutants. I'm reaching. <laughs> The mutants is happening. Maybe, maybe Dottie's coming back, y'all. Westview mutants. <laughs> the West mutants. I mean, maybe help me out, Kevin Feige, help me. Maybe. I mean, honestly, yeah. I, I, it, it could possibly happen. I don't know. Um, Devin, what, what, what about you? What was your favorite of the series? See, it's sad for me. It's. You're going to see why I hate Ralph Boner so much. My favorite episode is episode six, the Halloween spooktacular. Yeah. And this kind of weakens that quite a bit oh, because it's just like, who's this random guy I'm watching now? Who's Ralph Boner? I just love the chaotic energy that he brought in that episode. It was so Malcolm in the Middle. It was so perfect. That entire episode was great. Like, it was shot exactly like Malcolm in the Middle. It, it really was good. Yeah, it was so great. Like, But now it's just Ralph Boner in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, I don't know what to say. Devin will not let this go. Name, man. Like, Ralph, Ralph Boner. Why did they have to go with that? You know? <laughs> he was like, uh, Boner. <laughs> hey, Patrick. He's actually from my channel. Hello. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? So, yeah, uh, <laughs> he says, well, I was wrong about Dottie. Um, he, yeah. al- he also asks, what do you think of the final credit uh, scene? Multiverse, hopefully. <laughs> yep. I, that, that, that was my favorite. That that was definitely my favorite one. I mean, I, I liked both scenes, uh, you know, the mid credit and the post credit, but it was just like, you know, seeing Wanda finally in her element and she said that, you know, she doesn't understand her power, but she will. And then I know there, I, there was one other thing. I know people were kind of, little disappointed that like you know wanda got away like scot-free but i'm like i mean every avenger has been doing that since like the inception of like the mcu minus like civil war when they put in the sokovia accords it's like of course she had to run because this uh those accords are you know still in play i i'm assuming even though i don't know if like the snap kind of changed things but i'm assuming they're still in play and it's very possible that Doctor Strange 2 could start with him, like, looking for her. Yeah. I mean, it's like, uh, like, we say that she got off scot-free, but did she really? Like- exactly, exactly. Like, there's definitely, there has, there's going to be some kind of uh, consequences to her actions because of what Agatha had said. You know, she had 
opened up. She she did something. She either opened up some kind of portal, or, or I, I really don't know. But she something is, big and bad happened. Plus, yeah, uh, that's for sure. Well, like I'm trying to figure out what it was because it's like, what could it have been? My theories are it's either mutants or the multiverse. Maybe it was a multiverse. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, people are still holding out for Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield and Spider-Man uh, <sighs> Far From Home. Not Far They're From saving Home. Them no, for, no, saving them for Doctor Strange. <laughs> the, Raimi, the Raimi reunion. Don't worry. Honestly, I could... Not happening. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just saying, I never try to get my hopes up with this kind of stuff. So it's like, you know, I, well, I love it. Now. <laughs> yeah, I think we learned our lesson. Oh my gosh. It's, I mean, I, I've saw so many great theories out there and that's what I love about the week to week experience. You know, a lot of people may have thought it's like, okay, could you imagine if we just got this right off the bat? We, we would have been done with this like, <laughs> like eight weeks ago. Like I would have killed this in like a weekend, like nine episodes, like with the run times that they gave us. That's yeah, nothing. This would have been a quick and easy in and out. Yeah. yeah. And it's One day. and it's like, all right, well, I guess we'll see you guys, you know, in March for Falcon Winter Soldier. And the same thing <laughs> happens. And it's like, there, there, there's just no fun in that. Like, I like, you know, like, it gives us more content for the podcast. It gives more content for Leo for his channel as well. So it's like for a lot of other content creators out there. It's like, yeah, I mean, it would be great to kind of do like the whole one and done and move on to the next thing. But I mean, this is like this like the start of like the MC, like, you know, phase four, like I want to get excited. I want to kind of theorize and look, have something to look forward to every single week instead of just, you know, Oh, you know, I, I finished Queens Gambit. What else am I going to do? Right. For the rest of this my is time? the return of appointment television. You know, it's I like love it. that week to week feeling of Saturday morning cartoons, exactly. Game of Thrones, getting ready for it every single week. Yeah, Netflix. This is notes. killing it. And the Mandalorian started it on Disney Plus, and yep. now the Marvel shows are at full effect. Yeah, I, I I think it was it's so smart. I mean, HBO um, Max does the same thing. When I was watching his Dark Materials. Uh, me and Griff Schiller uh, covered it on, on the podcast. You know, we just, it was week to week. It was something, it was great to just talk about it. Great to mm-hmm. like actually just, I don't know. Like like you said, we had something to look forward to. And mm-hmm. it's like, I mean, yeah, there are other things that we could be watching, but I mean, I don't know. Zack Snyder, the Snyder Cut could have been doing the same thing, but you know, <laughs> whatever. They want to stretch that out for weeks, so I feel like they were like, yeah, it's 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 almost as if you know, um, the the fans have waited long enough. Yeah, they were done. They were ready to wrap that up. Yeah, so it's like I, yeah, honestly, I would have done this. Like, all right, just whatever. <laughs> I, I I understand their reasoning behind it because people have been waiting for so long. So it's like, I don't know. But I swear, I mean, it's it's going to happen, but I, I just don't want the whole Avengers versus Justice League movie discourse, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, of course. Of yeah. course. It's, it's not Justice League and Avengers without that. Remember everybody trashing on Justice League and being like, oh, <laughs> Avengers was the, the, the superior movie. I mean, it was, and but like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see once March 18th comes around. Uh, so, you know, I definitely want to keep an open mind with that. You know, I don't want to go into a movie saying, oh, well, this is going to suck. Because I wouldn't want a four-hour movie to suck. Because that means I had to sit through a sucky four-hour movie. Hopefully it's great. <laughs> Ho- I mean, hopefully. I mean, I'm sure it's better than the Josh Whedon version. But, like, Ugh. I don't know if it's going to be like... What's about anything's going to be better than that? Yeah, like, and that's honestly not even saying much. So it's like, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I am excited, you know, like to watch something new. To I, I do want to see his vision to see what he had planned. So we'll just have to keep our ears to the ground and wait and see for that. But... Um, we are coming up on time here. I know we've been talking here for a little bit over an hour. Uh, was there anything else you guys wanted to touch on before we wrap up? I wanted to get your guys' scores as well. And for Leo, who doesn't know this, we we changed our score a little bit. Devin, we, oh, so we're 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 going by the the old the old school grading scale. We got A to F. A to F. A to F. With, with minuses and pluses. Yeah, oh, my, so not out of a hundred. 
Yeah, well, it, it can't, I mean, it can be, but, I mean, so, like, let's say you wanted to give it, like, a 95 or, like, a 98, that would be, like, an right, A+. Right, that's, like, an A+. Plus. Yeah, okay. but, yeah, but I think, I think the grading scale would be better, so it'd be, like, 95 to 100, A+, plus, you know, so, so on and so forth. So, yeah, let's there. do, um, let's do a score for the finale and then the overall season, too. Okay, okay, Devin, you want to start us off with the score for the, for, for, for the finale, sorry. Yeah, for the, what's for the finale? I'm gonna go with a B plus. Okay, could could have been an A, but Ralph Boner exists. So. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, okay. Uh, Leo, what what about you for the series finale? For the finale, I'm gonna say the same. It was a solid B plus, um, maybe like teetering A minus. But I agree, there are just some missed opportunities. I thought with it, uh, Ralph Boner. The, the, troll, the trolls got up with them. Um, white vision just dipping <laughs> out, Monica not being in that much. Yeah. So a couple of missed opportunities, but all in all, the series as a whole, I would definitely give a higher score. Okay. So I will give it a. I'll, I'll actually go with the A minus as well. Um, just because, yeah, like pretty much for the same reason. Oh, well, for for the white vision, you know, kind of just dipping out. I did want to see what was happening with Dottie because they did kind of focus on her a little bit by saying. Yeah. She was the key to the town, but it's like, you know, like Leo says, she's just a chick named Sarah who they wants just, your they daughter. Dropped, they dropped so many little clues that just kind of led nowhere. The devil's in the details. <laughs> the, devil's, oh. the devil's here. Yeah. He's I mean, all of us. I, mean, I never expected Mephisto to show up, to be completely honest, because of the whole Disney devil thing that happens. But I, I really did enjoy this. I mean, it's, you know, it's smaller things. You know, that's why I'm giving it an A minus, but it, it, overall I, I loved it. It's, it's in my top. I think it's, it's in my top 10 for MC. I think it's like number five or six. I think it's number six on letterbox for my MCU films uh, ranks. So it's, it's, it's experimental. It's, it's fun. You know, anyone can enjoy this. And that's what I, mm-hmm. it's, it's just like with star Wars, you know, th- there's, there's, there's some kind of star Wars content out there for everyone. And there's some kind of MCU content out there for everyone as well. So, but yeah, so I guess let's get into the overall of the, um, of season one of WandaVision. Leo, what would you give the overall season? Overall season? I'm giving a solid a, I thought that the overall season as a whole piece was incredible, man. Like every single week, there was another episode that just unraveled a layer of the story. And what was so cool is it honestly kept us mystified week to week. It was like, what's happening here? Oh my God, theory this, theory that. And honestly, I know some theories didn't come true, but I actually just enjoyed theorizing and getting to think about what the possibilities are. Even even though some of the results might have not been what we thought. No, there was no Mephisto. Ralph wasn't Mephisto. All (laughs) this. No, but it was still a fun experience to come back and talk about it every single week and just theorize and plot and think like what are they doing the writing's incredible the acting's incredible the cinematography is fantastic i mean this is like an mcu movie seriously the budget and and you know in this last episode that really did reveal that large budget because that that cgi was incredible yeah. I mean, just lush and made us feel like we were right in Westview with them. So this this series, man, an, a solid A. Fantastic. <laughs> a Black Widow every week. Yeah, hey, man, like, I'd, be there, I'd be there <laughs> at this point. I just want them to release that fucking film. I, I gotta see 30 minute go. chunks. <laughs> <laughs> Quibby, quick bites. Oh, my God. <laughs> rest in peace, right? Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, Devin, what would you give the entire series out of your grade? I'm going to go with an A-, minus. so pretty close. Okay. I, did, I didn't love the first few episodes. It's definitely not as much as you guys did. I thought they were kind of slow. I mean, I know they were necessary, but I wouldn't rewatch them. I'll say that. So but the, but, but okay. after after those first few, it, it definitely picked up, and it was just full steam ahead ever since those. Like, all the theories, all the mysteries, the writing, it was just, it's all there. So episode four was, like, where it, like... That's it, right. It clicks. That's when it clicks. Like, okay, here we go. We're in. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, I'm actually going to go with a Leo score uh, with a solid A. You know, I've already kind of 
explain why I love the show so much. It was, uh, but uh, or the series finale. But yeah, the the overall show. You know, I I love you know the whole the mystery. Like there was like this huge elephant in the room. We didn't know what was going on with Wanda. We didn't know if she was you know like in a hospital or kind of just like hallucinating or you know something like I was like okay, did something happen to Wanda after um, the events of Endgame and. You know, she kind of just takes refuge, and it's just the the whole grieving process. And I mean, I'm I couldn't tell you what what uh, step of the grieving grieving process she's in, but it's she's you know dealing with it in her own way, as is as does as does everyone who loses a loved one. Uh, you know, the other white visions out there somewhere. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna see him again. I just. It was kind of weird. He was just like I'm Vision, and then just like just. Yeah. I mean, just. <laughs> How pissed would you guys have been if she just like woke up and this was all a dream? I would have been pretty mad. Woo, I would have been, been pretty hot. mad. I would have been pretty yeah. mad. I would have been like, okay, this is a solid C, fellas. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a D for, this is a D for dreams. <laughs> this is a D for dreams. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, the entire series, it, I, I love the, the giddy, like, you know, I love the first three, like, first three episodes. It's just, it was, I don't know. I, I miss. They, they, took, they took a risk and it paid off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I miss good sitcoms like that. Like you just, you don't get good sitcoms like that anymore. You really don't. I really don't, man. And it's like, it sucks. Like, I mean, you know, the whole live track thing, like, yeah, it's hokey, but even the ones today, they're just like downright awful. And I'm just like. Y'all gotta do. I mean, better. some of them are good, like yeah. Shit's Creek. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Shit's Creek. There's great. a lot. Yeah. Between those, like, there's a lot of them that are just like, ugh. <laughs> How did this make it on TV, baby? Seriously, like, who greenlit greenlit this idea? But I don't know. But yeah, a solid A for um, the the entire uh, season one of Wandavision. I don't think we're getting a season two. I believe that it is just gonna go straight into the multiverse of madness with dr strange but yeah i was a little bit bummed that we didn't get to see dr strange as i thought but then again this is wanda's story so it is but even a post-credit scene like yeah I mean, post-credit just, scene would have held but i i like the two that we got even if it's just the cape that showed up like he's got like, a mind of its own so he could have just <laughs> that would have been hilarious through. or or wong just have wong appear out of yeah. nowhere yeah. <laughs> you need to come with me <laughs> it's like what who are you <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> he was too busy uh, hanging out with dragons with Raya. He caught that, yeah. caught that tuna melt, so he didn't. <laughs> He's got his hunk of hunk of uh, burning fudge ice cream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like it's a bit chalky. <laughs> Shoot, uh, to answer Cooper Patrick Cooper's question, he didn't know or nobody knows. Yeah. I'm hoping it's either mutants or multiverse though. Or, Don't or give us a rough owner. <laughs> Mutants multiverse multiverse from Mephisto. One of I, the three. I love Ralph Boner needs his own spinoff because he's the, he's the husband of <laughs> his man cave. Yes, that man. was so funny. He was like the man cave, you know, get away from the missus. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Well, okay. I guess that's true. But all right, guys, let's uh, let's wrap up here again. Leo, thank you so much for joining, uh, taking this journey with us uh, throughout WandaVision, you know, love to have you back, you know, talking anything else, you know, <laughs> uh, we, got, we, we literally got, you know, uh, we got five two weeks. Yeah. Talking two Wonder weeks. Soldier. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Definitely. You know, love to have you on, you know, if, if, if you uh, have the time or, you know, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. So Come right back at you guys. <laughs> yeah, Come man. Through the channel. Yeah, man, literally just like us. I mean, you know, we we did a little uh, uh, theorizing. Uh, what was it this past Monday? Yeah, was that Monday? Man, yeah, that and, was uh, fun. We weren't right about anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, we weren't. I was like, oh my god, like you know, Michael Fassburn is going to come up and he's going to metal bend and he's going to destroy White Vision. But like, I mean, it it is fun to speculate. But I was like, nine times that there's no way that's happening. Like if it no. did, I would have been like, Whoa! like holy crap, that would have been crazy. But it is what it is, but I wanted to take this time to give to Leo to let everyone know uh, what's coming up on your channel, what what you have planned for the rest of March, because it is busy, a busy, busy month. 
Yeah, man. Well, hey, I appreciate it. I'm going to be tuning in to Superman and Lois, doing reactions on those episodes, and also Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'll also be doing reactions and coverage to My Hero Academia, too. So lots of shows coming up. Also movies that are coming up as well. You've got Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's going to be a huge drop and a big slate of movies. Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, Mortal Kombat is not coming out this month, but no, there's yeah, a it's lot, da- a lot down the line, guys. Like so many more movies coming up on the channel. Coming Monday will be my Coming to America review, and I already have my review for Ryan and the Last Dragon up and Chaos Walking, and I have my reaction for the last episode, sadly, of WandaVision, guys. So go check that out on my channel, youtubecom goods and uh, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, yeah, thanks for that. I'm 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 so happy for my hero. Like I am, I'm. Oh my god, I can't wait. What when does that drop? When is uh, late March? It's gonna be a late March drop. I want to say the last Friday. I think no, I think it might be the last Saturday, March twenty sixth. Okay, so it's like barely March. (laughs) Kind of. I mean, it's in March, but yeah, I'm. That is one thing I'm very. I'm just like I'm. I just I love that show so much. I, yeah, March twenty seventh. Okay. so that is the last Saturday. Okay, so that's right around the bend with um Godzilla versus Kong, pretty much. I think it's a week right after. Oh lord, <laughs> Ooh, March is packed. It is. I, I don't think it's, it's nothing slowing down, but we're we're gonna take it one piece at a time. But of course, mm-hmm. you can uh, listen. Oh, I wanted to thank everyone for tuning into the uh, live stream portion. Portion and for all you audio listeners out there, thank you for listening. You know, we're on our road to 10k downloads. We're we're almost there, so it's very very exciting. Ooh. You know, thank you for all the feedback we've been getting, and of course, leave a five star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. It really helps out with our ratings um, and just our placement overall. You know, we want to give you guys the best podcast that we can so um i believe next week ooh, what are we doing next week Devin? oh yeah i think we're just gonna do kind of like so since we for went like the news this week um i think we'll just start back up with the news next week and kind of we do also have the, uh, the behind the scenes wandavision episode yeah 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 well, mm-hmm. we have that as well and That's i think we'll, right. yeah we'll be talking a little bit of like falcon winter soldier one what to kind of expect from that i suppose but yeah this will be the uh last uh mcu coverage for at least for uh, until the next two weeks uh drop and you can listen to this podcast on platforms around the internet and you can follow us on twitter and oh my gosh instagram wow at film optics that is optics with an x so let me close us out here and we'll say our uh our goodbyes and that's a wrap for today everyone thank you all for listening make sure to check out the other shows over on musiccitydriving.com and subscribe to our show so you never miss an episode that was Devin, leo and my name is christian and we'll see you guys in the next one and and before we go before we go we have one little surprise for you guys we all love the Agatha theme song. Post credit. Post credit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Post credit on the pod right here. We got Agatha all along. It is a trap mix. I forgot the name of the guy who actually made it. I was trying to find his his actual handle, but it's... Whoever you are, much credit, man. Yeah, much credit. So let's uh, let's close out here with the, uh, the Agatha trap. All right. We'll see you guys next time. 
until then, stay safe. And see ya. See ya. <laughs>